Hey, you just Chris Bogart with a deck profile of what I'm trying to play at YCS Providence. 100% uh, guarantee going now, which is unbelievable. It's awesome. Uh, but I was going to profile Mom, it. This is a load. You of do stuff. know. You can't tell Randy he can go in this game school and won't let me go right. Friday. So into the main board. We carry two Archer Christie, it's the number one card in our deck, it's a free special that's summon, it's the deadliest yeah, thing in this deck, it's crazy. awesome because of Solemn Warning and Call of Hazards, and sorry for the background noise by the way, but, but yeah, two Christie, it's a very staple, it's awesome. Um, three Master Hyperion, another boss monster, which makes this deck really awesome, it's very control based, deck generates so many pluses with Venus and Earth, and uh, drops boss monsters pretty easily. Cold Haunted really abuse, ab is abused in this deck. Two Earth, um, kicked it up to two by the list, which is awesome. Adds consistency and adds a tune into the deck, which is always sweet. We have three Venus and the famous HBIC of Entertainment, Smexy Vexy and Smexy Vexy HBIC Mystical Shine Balls. Only reason I'm playing Commons is because they're signed by Vexicus. Um, but yeah. It just generates so many pluses. They create exceeds, they can create synchros, it's just amazing. I remember before when Agents first came out, everyone thought the Shine Ball, uh, White Elephant's Gift, list sucked, and then Exceeds came out. Two Herald of Orange Light, I do not have three yet. I'm probably going to play three for the event, though. Not exactly sure what I've cut for it yet. Um, but, yeah. Two Herald, uh, it's the best card in the deck. Because one, it's the Hand Trap, it destroys the monster, and two, it dumps the Christio or Hyperion of, of Venus and lets you abuse Call of Haunted really easily. And it's a tuner in the worst case scenario. Honest, sign also signed by Vexicus 4666. Freaking love him. Only reason I'm using the common, sign. Um, but Honest is obvious. You play two Thunder King Rye on the main board. It's anti meta, it's just a 19 beater, it's a main deck sided thing. It's it's perfectly good against the meta right now. It's also like 19 beater, honest, uh, soft social summons, so good. Elster Albans, um, tack 2 card 2% percent agent list. So as well, I, why it's really good, it just crashes with 19s, it gives you to draw 1, uh, gets good pluses when called Haunted, and you mill your Christie has all this other stuff that Call Haunted abuses. Um, mill your agents for Hyperion Pop, for Christia. The ratio of the deck is every time you mill, you're supposed to mill, uh, one fairy, at least. So, the ratio gets pretty good in there. If you mill 2 next turn, if you use its effect, it won't yeah. mill a fairy. Most likely, that's what happens. <laughs> Two troll guides, Sang and a Knight of Salent. Um, I played a Knight of Salent because one, it pops monsters, which is all around a plus. It doesn't even pop monsters, it just um, destroys any monster. It doesn't have to be face up like Snowman. And it's another target for Tour Guide. Um, Sangin is just Sangin. Uh, awesome. Searching and Tour Guide. Yeah, no need to explain that. Reborn, book, hole, heavy. If you guys have hollow staples that you're going to Providence and you would let me loan, would you loan them? Oh, or foreign? That'd be awesome. But, yeah. And, Monday. let's see. Monday, wow. Three That'd be Monday. Best medical ever. Sorry about the back of noise again. This is. Sunday. Can't really control. But, uh, three MST just let your place go. Oh, Lee called Haunted. Randy. I've already talked about how much you abuse this in the deck. I really don't need to explain it anymore. Trading my Ultra ones, which kind of sucks. But two warning, I don't play Solemn Judgment. It's annoying. I just it's a one for one that pays half your life points. And in this current format, with all the explosive and OTK decks, you pay half the life points early game, which you pretty much are forced to do, and uh, it could cost you in an OTK format like this. Girgia's card. Uh, Karakar Gurgia, Machina Gurgia, Wind Ups, and whatnot. Two Bottomless Grapple, uh, good against everything. Stable Trap, really. One Tech Compulsory, this is probably what I'll cut for the third Herald, but, you know. And Starlight Road, signed by Alex Van Sant. Oh, I forgot to mention the warnings are signed by Van Sant as well. Um, it's to give me luck if I open Double Warning at Starlight. Pretty much got game, but... Yeah, that's the main deck. Continuing with the deck, we have the gold token, which I don't even play Gores. Anti Dextra, Levier, 
Acid Golem, Leviathan, Tem Tempo, Zen Mains. I couldn't really think of what three to cut uh, at last second, so I cut the Magical Android instead to fit in the last rank three. Uh, rank three is a pretty powerful. You don't go that often in this deck, but when you do, you have the, all the options and really loads of variety. I mean, you also do play the Torgai Sangin, so these get into pretty quick. You have Venus and other plays like that on those lines. Two Gachi, I'd play a Digosta Phoenix, but I don't have one because they're expensive. So, there's that. Colossal, Stardust, and Sky Dragon for level eights. Ulti Colossal, Ultra Stardust, and I have a freaking common or super scrap. Oh, so nutty. Black Rose, Gaia, Catastrophe, Armory, and Chimera Tech. The staples, one of each level, and uh, just for the Justin Game scenario. And this is yeah. for the side, really. Really? Ultra Reality Calc. Alright, sideboard. Three Cyber Dragon. Uh, play three instead of two just because it lets me draw into it easier. Also, against a hero matchup, it's good to side, just a bigger beater in general. It's a light. Uh, and you want to draw into it if you if you need it to win a matchup. I'd rather play System Downs, but I don't know. This is kind of versatile in its own, its own right. System Downs only against really gear. Yeah, this could be against hero as well. Anyways, 3D to Crow, same reasoning on number three instead of two. You just need to draw into it in certain, ma certain matchups or you lose. And, um, yeah. Three really helps with that. Two Electric Riders. Alright, this card I misplayed last turn and lost to a Chaos Dragon and a Winamat, which Cordero of Mexican 4666 had to witness and put shame to me. But, um, yeah, it's so good against machines. It's good. It stops them in their tracks. It's good against Chaos Dragons. Um, they, they, put, they put big meters on the field, so you can just take and swing. Uh, three Dust Tornado. It sides against everything back or heavy, and that's a lot of this format. But you don't want to main them, obviously. That's crazy. Two Mirror Force. Um, side it really against the wind up Gear Gear matchup. So, stops it decays. And if you need to extra spell, like, protect, trap protection, that's what you're doing. And finally, two Needle Sealing, the best freaking trap side ever. It wins against everything. Uh, besides Chaos Dragon, because they just go like Pulsar Red MD like douches, but you know, whatever. Uh, still, it's a very good side against uh, explosive decks, which is pretty often right now. But that's the list. Um, if you play Agents, put it in Player's Choice Orange. Uh, enough said. But, yeah, um, I do plan to do well with this. I mean, I went, I pretty much, I should have won a mat with it, but whatever. But win a mat, don't really say anything. Um, I wish I decided to play this at the regional. This is clo very close to the list that top aided the Colum or Cleveland regional. Um, my friend topped. I just stole the list and I was like, huzzah! But obviously, I don't have the money he has, so I don't have some things like Digusto Phoenix, uh, some other stuff I don't even remember. But yeah, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Comment, subscribe, and uh, wish me luck at Washington's Providence and whatnot. I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios, YouTube.